All right, on this video, we're going to do chapter three, exercise two. I'm going to make a new part. We can see it down there in the bottom right. So we're going to start off by making the rectangle. So we're going to go to sketch. We'll do a top down view and we'll make a rectangle that starts from the origin and that'll be the bottom left. And then we'll just pull it up to the right and go to smart dimension. We see that the overall width is 5.5 and the overall height is four. And go to our line tool. We're going to draw this diagonal here on the right. Make sure that both lines are highlighted when you click so that they will be relationed to each other. And then we can go to smart dimension. The top edge is 4.25 inches off the left. And the oops, 4 point, 4 4.25. And this bottom part is two inches off. Now we're going to draw the hole on the left hand upper side. So we're just going to draw a circle and then smart dimension, radius of one. And it's one inch off the left. And it is two and a half inches off the bottom. Everything's black. We can go to features, extrude. It says it is 0 0.25 inches thick. We're going to select the that part, so not that circle and not that edge, and we're going to extrude it up. We're going to go back to our sketch tab, go into the sketch again, and then we're going to click this top face. We're now going to draw the bigger outer circle on the bottom right. Go to smart dimension. It says it is a diameter of two, 1.5 inches off the bottom, and three inches off the left. We're going to extrude this. It says the boss height is 0 0.125 inches. So we're going to go to blind, 0 0.125. It's going off the face, which is good. We're going to extrude it. Go to sketch one more time. And now we're going to sketch on this big circle that we just made. Go to circle tool. And the way to draw a circle in the very middle of another circle is you hold your cursor over the circle until it turns orange. And then this little black circle will appear in the middle. And as long as your circle starts inside of that, it will automatically relate the two centers together. Then we see this diameter is one inch and we go to extruded cut. We're going to do from the sketch plane through all and we've already selected that part. And there we go.